It's time for an actually pretty good episode. Hello, oh, well, my name is Fox Ryan Till. Again, I'm at Fox. And first episode, all right. Second episode, terrible, horrible, just plain awful. Um, don't want to say dirt because that'd be an insult to dirt, and dirt is actually very useful. Um, but uh, fudge. Uh, <laughs> this episode, which was the ringleader, pretty freaking awesome. Basically, setup is Ben and Gwen are playing sumo slammers. Though, again, I'm gonna say right now, um, the design drop of sumo slammers kind of sucked. It doesn't look as cool as it did when the original Ben 10 series, again, because the original Ben 10 series was freaking awesome. I, mean, I think they even totally dropped almost all of sumo slammers in Alien Force, Ultimate Alien, and like, sumo slammers, I think it was, pro it was probably mentioned a couple of times, but it wasn't really as big as like, you know, Ben like, <gasps> sumo slammers in the original show, which kind of sucks. That was actually one of the cool things about the show too, was like that brand. Um, but um, they're playing a sumo slammers game um, Ben beats Gwen and goes, yeah, I'm the winner. And Grandpa just says, but you're not a real winner, Ben. If you were in real wrestling, you'd have to train hard, and do all this stuff, or you could even get into the ring. But then Gwen point, and Ben's like, oh man, you deflated me. And then he turns to a deflated balloon, I guess, though it's shaped to look like something else a little bit, I guess. Um, but, uh, but, but Gwen says, but wait, Ben, look. And just so happens they park right outside a wrestling arena. And Ben goes, great, yeah, I could become, I could, um, I could, uh, I could be a real wrestling champion. Turns to accelerate, grabs some stuff around the RV, which I really don't think he really needed to turn to accelerate to do this stuff, because everything was within an arm, was rank length almost. Grabs the stuff and then sews it by himself, because apparently he knows how to sew, and sews himself a costume that looks small on him and Gwen's like that's your wrestling costume doesn't it look a little too big for you I'm just like what the fuck there, there must have been a disconnect between the animators and the script writer because that didn't look like it was too big for him it looked like it was like too small and Ben's like no not if I no because I'm gonna wrestle like this transforms turns into forearms and um he has to hide his arm his other two arms down here because uh it would look too weird, I guess. And, uh, or they consider it cheating. And Gwen goes, But wait, are you gonna, does that mean you're gonna, but wait, you're gonna cheat still. And Ben's like, Oh man, well, I didn't think of that. And then Gwen goes, Hold on a second, there's a thousand dollar prize. Let's go. <laughs> Gwen dresses up in a sweatshirt and a beanie, which also I'm gonna say right now, Gwen is so far like my favorite character in this series. Which is, I don't know if that's good or bad, since, you know, the title character Ben 10 isn't as awesome. Also, when, um, Grandpa said that Ben wasn't aware, just Gwen going, HA! <laughs> um, I'm trying to think. But, um, so Ben and Gwen go, and G again, Gwen is like my favorite character, because she, <laughs> apparently she's watched, like, the Rocky movies, or she goes, she goes, she closes her eye and goes, you gotta give it to her, crush it. You gotta, that's Ben's name, or crush her or whatever. You gotta give it to her. You gotta, you gotta hit him, you gotta beat him down, you gotta take him out. You gotta, you wanna fight that big guy over there who's like this one called Iron Mike who's like all, like has metal arms and stuff. Yeah, you, you gotta fight him. You gotta take him down. You gotta, you gotta fight him down, man. Mike. He's like, why are you talking like that? <laughs> Cause that's how, I'm your ring guy, and your side ring guy. That's how we talk. Like an old man? Well, well he is in the movie. <laughs> but, um, then um, this Iron Mike dude like bumps into Ben and or forearms, forearms gets a little angry and they say, "All right, we gotta beat him." So they then a little montage of Ben fighting all these wrestlers, which I don't know. Is it because Steven Universe has wrestling too? Is it that the creators like liked that wrestling stuff, or is it that they're trying to play to like that smaller demographic, that demographic of people who watch? Like wrestling, like WWE and Raw and SmackDown and stuff. I actually kind of wonder that. Anyways, I doubt it's gonna play. <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna play a bigger part later on in a uh, Ben 10 series like it does with uh, Steven Universe, but um, I kind of wondered. But uh, so anyways, uh, so Ben, so Ben, next montage of Ben beating the crap out of all these people 
which each of them has their own kind of way to cheat, which is kind of hilarious now, especially towards the end where, like, they consider Ben a cheater. But, I'm um, like, the guy's like, ha I'm going to blind you with a piece of glass! Knocks him out of the way. A dude throws onions at Ben and blows it back. It's like all these little cheats that these wrestlers are trying to do, they just knock them all back. Ben just knocks them all back. And, um, the Crusher, too, is just, like, punching the ground and knocking them off the ring. Which also, a lot of the time, Ben wins is when knocking them off of the ring. It's just like, winner, winner, winner! And then Gwen goes, all right, Ben, you have to get to the... Then Ben he goes, all right, Ben, you have to get to the end of... You gotta beat all these guys so we can beat the Crusher. Or, um, the Iron Mike, because he, um, he's hurting people. Next scene right after that. Wow, my, wow, wow, Ben, you did a good job. And I'm just like... I feel like the montage should have been, done, like, halfway done through... And then we had seen the Crusher be hurting people, and they go, okay, we have to do, and then show the rest of the montage, and they're like, okay, we're done. Like, that's that's a little simple editing, guys. Come on now. Um, so Ben and the Crusher fight each other, <laughs> which is probably one of the funnier scenes in this entire episode. Uh, but uh, Gwen, not Gwen, um, Ben and the Crusher fight each other. Um, everyone, also, like, he was saying, like, why do you think he's called Iron Mike? And it was like, I don't know, I think it's a metaphor. And Ben's like, No! He has iron arms! And they're like, No, 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 no. I'm pretty sure it's a metaphor. She's like, Oh my gosh, you guys, the, the people are idiots. But um, Ben and Gwen, Ben and Iron Fist fight, or Iron Mike fight, they fight each other. Um, at one point, Iron Mike throws Ben out of the ring, but before Ben falls out of the ring completely, his, four, his, his two arms down here grab onto it because he's getting still four arms. Flies back in and like, oh, he has four arms. He's a cheater. And I'm like, and Gwen, Ben's like, seriously? He has iron arms. And he goes, so it's a metaphor. <laughs> but um, so the fight keeps on going. And Ben beats the crap out of Iron Mike and throws it down and gets on top of him to pin him. And I love the referee's like, one, come on, Iron Mike, you can do this. Two, come on, Iron Mike. And Ben goes, oh. Seems like there's a new ringleader or whatever. Then Ben turns back into Ben. And he's just on top of Mike. And he's just like, uh, looks at the ref and goes, Say three! Say three! <laughs> he's the ref and he's just like, And then <laughs> Ben falls over and Iron Mike just stands over him. And the, ref, and the announcer's like, Well, he has, he has two arms now, so it looks fair now. I'm like, Really? The dude stands at seven feet tall and Ben's like three, four feet tall. I don't know how old, I don't know how tall Ben is. Like maybe about this height. Uh, I'm five, six. So yeah, about that I would make sense. Um, so Ben, so next Ben is running outside of the ring as the Crusher or the Iron Mike trying to pull him. And like, I'm just thinking, wait, aren't they both out of the ring? Shouldn't they both lose at this point? But, um, so they get, you throw around, Ben gets thrown back into the ring. He's like, oh, great, I'm back in the ring. I mean, he's been trying to escape death. He's been dodging him in everything, every way he could. But um, also, a war of suplex in that one point, uh, Iron Mike. But um, back to uh, before he becoming Ben again. That's how I got him down. Um, so Ben, Ben, Ben then also, like, uh, what is it? I think Gwen gives him water in Ben's mouth, and Ben actually spits the water onto Iron Mike's foot. Was then he sees electricity, and I'm like, oh, what the? And Ben goes, huh? Uses Omnitrix, um, transforms a hydro pump. I think that was his name. I can't remember. I think he was an alien force alien, I believe. And shoots um, Iron Mike with water. Iron Mike short circuits, and then his body falls apart, and it turns out it's just a nerd in a robot, as the announcers put it, which I thought was hilarious. And hydro pump, like, oh yeah, we're the winner. And Gwen's like, yeah, we're the we're the winner. So give us our money. And they were like, no, you guys are cheaters too for the use of alien technology. And I'm just thinking, so aliens exist in this world. Well, I, I mean, of course they exist in this world. It's Ben 10. It's a sci-fi show with aliens in it. It's based around a watch that turns the main character into different aliens. What I mean by that is alien technology is well known in this world. Even though in the original Ben 10 series, alien technology is 
barely known. Even like the the men in black, the plumbers in that universe, um, didn't even really comprehend all of the technology if I remember correctly. Even though they outfitted the rust bucket with a t- crap ton of it, um, and I don't know how to feel about one. Actually, I do know how to feel about. It. I'm going to say right now, again, Star Wars War is Evil, I had some problems with it beforehand. You don't rewatch the first season, though, it seems a lot better, especially as compared to some bits in season two. But um, in that one, it's like, I read an interview about it. They said, like, unlike other characters or things like characters, like, oh, they have magical powers, they have to hide it. Um, Star just lets everyone know, I have magical powers. She's not trying to hide it. If, ben, if this reboot went in that direction... If only for the more sillier approach to things, that would probably make this show about ten times better, I think. If done well. Because then, like, it's like, okay, it's not Ben's trying to hide a secret identity. No, it's just like, Hex, it goes, Benjamin Tennyson, I'm gonna kick your ass. And just transform into way big or something. And, like, you know, use the powers for just stupid crap. Where, like, they see a guy transform running around um, Paris or... or Somewhere in America. Oh, uh, like the Native American land. They go, Ben 10! Or something like that. Like, they, he's well known, at least, in that regard. Like, they, especially since it's less like the original series and even Omniverse and Alienverse and stuff like that, where, um. Well, you know, Omniverse, it's still. In, in all the. It, it's still. He's a well known superhero. At least if they, this one, it's more like. He's just a dude. Like, they know that he's a guy with alien technology. And that's about it. And it's just like, oh, it's that idiot with alien technology. Like, it doesn't seem like that big of a deal. I think that would make the show a little bit more funnier because I would let Ben just be a little bit more crazier with some of the things he does. Which, it, it, that's probably how they're kind of going with this. But, um, but anyways, Ben and um, the Crusher are kicked out for being cheaters because Iron Body and alien technology. Even though, again, we have other people who are trying to cheat throughout the entire episode. So, What? <laughs> oh, I forgot to mention, there's a guy who has, like, <laughs> brass knuckles, punches Ben, and bounces off, and then, like, the thing is, brass knuckles had spikes on them, so you just see him with his fist, like, um, I'm gonna go home now. <laughs> I'm like, oh my lord, they just showed up there where some dude stabbed in the face. <laughs> and there's spikes like that for a bit. That's hilarious. Um... Yeah, this episode was good. This episode was really good. Dirt would be respected by if I said this was like that. <laughs> um, this is actually a really good episode. This one was really good. And Ben heads back to the RV because he challenges the nerd, saying like he is a champion. And they fight at Sumo Slammers. Ben wins. And the nerd is also continuing to play like if he's playing the game. But we can see, see clearly that the screen says KO'd and it's just frozen. So it's like, what is he playing? And Gwen's like, and Ben's like, I'd rather be a virtual champion than an actual champion. And Gwen goes, you kill, you're a crook, Tennyson. You're a crook. And then Grandpa Max just comes up and goes, because Grandpa Max went to bed, I forgot to say. And Grandpa Max comes up what the fuck is going on here? Who is this? End of episode. And again, this episode, not that bad. I actually really like this one. Um, though, again, out of... All the characters so far on this show, Gwen seems to be the best character on it. Which, which honestly, even like um, Gwen in um, Omniverse, I actually would have. They they could have done where they could have had a Ben Ten shared universe just with Omniverse alone. They could have had Ben, Ten, which also for a show called Omniverse, they really could have gone with. The whole interdimensional battles and like you know alternate realities they only do it for like two episodes and that's it it kind of sucks even like they talk about the time war which fyi is the same time war that um is doctor who because the guys who made omniverse like doctor who and um that time war was actually supposed to be doctor who even like the guy who has time traveling powers the professor uh professor equinox or whatever He's actually um, supposed to be the Doctor. Or, like, Ben 10's version of the Doctor. But, um... Even Karen Fob watch. But, uh... 
Ben. I'm trying to think. Sorry. Ben Ten. Do 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 do. Also, I hate the theme song for this. It's so effing lazy. But um, Ben Ten. But uh, yeah, it's just Gwen was always kind of one of the cooler characters. And honestly, Omniverse they could have gone with a whole thing with just Gwen. Like it would have been kind of awesome if they did a spinoff show with just Gwen, Kevin, and Zed. Like they could have had like mysteries. Like it could have been like a modernish Scooby Doo type of scenario, but in the Ben Ten universe, they could have had Gwen, Kevin, Zed, and maybe like I don't know two other students or whatever. Or heck, they could even have the Muck Monster Girl. Um, that's um, Gwen's cousin, other cousin. And we could have had kind of like a pseudo Scooby Doo supernatural um, superhero type of um, thing going on, like. They, they solved mysteries on campus and stuff like that. It actually would have been kind of cool. And Gwen could have been like the hero of that. That, that would have actually been kind of cool. Because even like the best, ep some of the best episodes of the Omniverse were the ones with when they brought Gwen and Kevin back. When they went to the college or whatever. And again, Zed is freaking awesome. They, they, even that one Scooby-Doo episode is freaking good. And I always love the part where they go with more magic. They could add more with Charm Cast to be like the main bad guy. You, you want to even go anime style, you could have that Charmcaster enrolled in the college too. Especially since Hex is apparently one of, Hex is one of the, uh, the, uh, professors there. They could have had a great spinoff there. And again, they still could have also had another spinoff with, Ke with Kenny 11. Or Ken, or Ken, Ken 11, Ken 10. They could have had a good, awesome spinoff with that too. But go check out how they could have made a better reboot up video, um, that I made. Um... But yeah, the, this episode was good. I'm gonna say right now, like I'm not gonna say like, oh, it was it was all right. No, this episode was actually good. This one actually had some funny laughs. Gwen is probably my favorite character. She has like the most, I don't know, personality to me in this show. I guess I don't know. I gotta watch Ben a little bit more. Ben's just he's just an a hole. I don't know. Maybe if I rewatch the original series, he is the sim similar fashion, just an a hole kind of. But like. Which, I guess, yeah, he is a little bit closer to that, too, if I remember him in the original one. Grandpa Max just seems to be, like, kind of, like, the stick in the mud a little bit. Like, he's the moral compass. He's the guy who just, like, oh, uh, here's, a, uh, here's, uh, the, uh, I'm the adult, so, you know, clean your room. I give you advice. Stuff like that. Um... I don't know, maybe we'll more see more character development later on. If there even is going to be character development in this show. Hopefully there is. Hopefully there is continuity. But yeah, I don't know. But either way, tell me what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you all so much for watching. If you're watching videos that I've done, click the link in the description below. Links are on my face. Subscription button's right over there. Thank you everyone for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And we will. See you later. End of video time.